Hello everybody, this is Neil Fine and I'm here with the weekly astrological message for the week between the 9th and the 16th or 17th of January 2021. <clears throat> here I talk about the energies that affect all of us, all zodiac signs in the sky, the celestial soup if you will that we're all swimming in and how to better deal with it. I want to remind you all that until January 17th I have a 50% off special New Year's deal on all readings and courses and private lessons with me. So do utilize it. It's the best deal of the year. So what are we entering this week? First of all we have Mars stepping into the sign of Taurus um, when Mars is in Taurus, I personally love Mars in Taurus. The ancients did not like Mars in Taurus. It was not a good place for Mars to be in. But I personally really enjoy these places that Mars finds it hard to take out its natural uh, character, like Taurus and Libra. So I find that in these places, Mars becomes a warrior of peace, a warrior especially in Taurus for prosperity, for tranquility, for enjoyment and love <coughs> and so as well in Libra. So it calms things down a little bit and it certainly gives a further push for us to recognize our own needs regarding our relationship with the material plane and with money and with value. It is a time that we are called to be mm, self-sufficient on a higher level. It is a time that we are called to be able to accomplish our own goals and targets autonomous, uh, autonom autonomously. We don't need anyone else. We need to dig in and find it in our own talents and in our own well and drink from that water in a sense says Mars in Taurus but he does that as Mercury the planet of communication and thoughts and the way we navigate through our society and interact with it steps into the sign of Aquarius we requiring a higher speed and, and a, a quickening regarding our understandings, regarding the social connections that we weave, regarding the um, ideas and, 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 and um, conversations that we put out to our close society. And these two are in a square. So this is a time to really watch how and what we are saying because some of these new radical ideas, some of these social ideas that are supposed to take us forward and emancipate us could be stepping on some old toes you know traditional uh, very um, rooted stubborn old toes <laughs> so we need to be careful not to create greater conflict with our surroundings because of that dissonance Venus is stepping into the sign of Capricorn this week as well and this further further establishes the need for establishment for responsibility for stability for something that would withstand the trials of time that would prove positive and sufficient after all the tribulations that could be regarded as consensual and um, serious by all others. This is a time that we can see the greater value of communality, the greater value of having a stable law and order and governmental systems. All over the world we're finding great tragedies, no less, you know, in the insufficient action and capabilities of governments around the world. People are being um, let down again and again and again by their leaders. And here when Venus steps into Capricorn, we can understand the value of Venus of governance, the value of structure and law and order, and draw towards it. 
that relationships need to be established, not flimsy in a sense. Um, that within the laws we find the greatest freedom. So, Sunday the 10th, we have Mercury conjunct Saturn. This is a time that our words and, uh, and ideas are being tested. That we could be shown reality as it is, not as we have wanted it to be or as we are afraid it might become. This is a time that we could feel more left alone and neglected by our close society and, f and, and you know, extended family, that we're not getting the support that we need. This is a time to be strong, though, and be the strong pillar for others in your community in that sense. This is a time that we could be feeling that everything is stuck, that everything is stuck, and we are but, uh, you know, a drop in the ocean. We are just a leaf in the wind and this is further heightened by the moon squaring Neptune on that day but Mercury um, is going to step away from Saturn and and hug Jupiter the next day and since they are conjunct you know these energies are mixing but when it hugs Jupiter the next day it could give us understandings about how we need to adapt release it could be um, a time of great value for our communal cognitive if you will and talking about feeling stuck we're having this week further on the exact square between between Mars and Saturn if we don't have any patience it's a great recipe for frustration and for actually harming the process we've wanted to take forward so we need a lot of patience understanding that we can't push the gas and the brakes at the same time and that's exactly what's happening at the moment we need to wait um, Monday the 11th Mercury is conjunct Jupiter as I said so it's a time f that we could also hear in the newspaper or the news about new discoveries that can actually take us forward and help us with problems that we have it's a good day when the moon hugs uh, or conjunct uh, uh, Venus that is trining Mars. It was trining exactly on the 9th and as I said in last week's video, you know, this is a great time to squeeze the zest out of life, to fall in love with the fact that we are in a body, in a material plane, not to let go of enjoyment and contentment. Um, And when I'm talking about Mercury hugging Jupiter and Saturn, this is something we can feel throughout the week. Um, on Tuesday the 12th, we're having Mercury squaring Uranus. Again, a time to understand that we need to adapt and um, upgrade everything we understand. The new information needs to come in and we better be flexible. Flexibility is key. This is a very independent thinking kind of aspect as well. So try not to get into, um, you know, a battle of opinions with friends. Um, Wednesday the 13th is the new moon in the morning in Eastern Europe. It is on the 12th in other places in the world. Um, and this is really a time of imprinting for the whole month. So watch your energies day before day after as well what can I tell you this is a hard new moon spelling a, 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 um, a new lunar cycle that has a lot of dense energies you know this is a new moon in Capricorn conjunct Pluto so it would be a make or break time for many people it especially involves governance law order and the need for transformation. It is about shaking the and rattling the the bones of society, you know, the 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 the, um, the spine of society and our own spine in life, you know, the, our own skeleton, so to speak, and transforming and 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 disregarding whatever needs to be disregarded and left behind. It is a time that we could see deeper into the abyss and transform it and find 
inner strength to do so. Do not look for support from the outside at the moment. Your strength comes from within. Um, so yeah, these are transformative days. You know, we have the Sun conjunct Pluto just uh, a few days later and this is again something we feel throughout the week and we could understand ourselves better understand our own darkness better and we can certainly feel the overspill towards our society and 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 the people in proximity in our lives and such so do be aware you know this is a good time to remember that native american tale about the evil wolf and the good wolf fighting within each and every one of us all day long and the one who wins by the end of the day is the one you fed simple as that don't feed the bad wolf <laughs> um, this new moon is also the exact conjunction uh, the exact square between mars and saturn that feeling of pushing the brakes and the gas at the same time that frustration and a great need for patience so please <coughs> enhance your calm um, Thursday the 14th Venus trines Uranus great time to meet new people new friends to upgrade your relationships please keep things flexible the moon is going to hug Jupiter and Mercury that day and square Uranus it could be a very exciting day the Sun is conjunct Pluto that day as well so please just don't be too dramatic enjoy it enjoy the theatrical atmosphere but don't become obsessive or too dramatic or total you know that don't go to extremes and Saturday the 16th I don't have anything to say about Friday Saturday the 16th wow a lot of great energies in the sky if you can go out if you can do some sports some activity do that weather permitting covid 19 permitting of course and sunday the 17th we're having jupiter square uranus another aspect that's going to quicken us into 2021 and the changes that are needed it's going to step up in, in a very light energy very positive light energy um it's going to step up the 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 rhythm and allow us to step forward a lot faster and and uranus is also stepping out of its retrograde through this week and starting to walk forward in taurus and we could feel we could feel that everything is quickened that the way we handle money and resources and food and drink and our own bodies and land and 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 material possession it's really starting to change a lot faster so I want to thank you for watching I want to thank you for uh, forwarding these videos and commenting on them and sharing them may we all live long and prosper this is Nia Farah goodbye